Okay, let's go. Well, good day to you guys. How are you today? Look at this, 12 degrees, beautiful sunshine, one o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday, and I'm going out for a bit of a bimball. Uh, it is very windy, so apologies for that, if that comes through on the audio, but man, it's gonna be a cracking day. I'm gonna have a ride out to uh, JNS Accessories over in uh, Wolverhampton Way, on the way up the A41 towards Western Park, have a quick look in there and then I'm thinking I'll carry on up and head off to Whitchurch up where the Raven is and meeting up with an old friend up there for a nice copper and a chat so you're very welcome to come along with me for the ride and if you're already a sub then thank you very much like I always say and I really do mean that um, if you're not currently a sub, then please consider subbing to me, because I am trying to grow the channel. It does help me out a lot. Um, if you can't, then don't worry about it. You're very welcome anyway. Right, let's get through the little crappy villages and out onto the open road. All right. Okay, well that didn't take long at all. Here we are at J&S. Let's have a look around, see what they've got. See if there's anything new. Max does need some better gloves. I need to get, because Max has got my old gloves, but they're even too small for him, unfortunately. Um, so he does need some better gloves. So let's, I'm not going to buy any today, but let's go and see what they've got. And say hello to some people, shall we? Boom. Man, it is so, so windy today. I knew it was going to be gusty though, so <laughs> my own fault. Oh, I just wish my wind jammer had come before I left. But hey ho, hey. Right, on my way up to Whitchurch, I just wanted to pop in and have a look in Western Park, because I remember going here as a kid. Um, haven't been since. And it's on the, it's on the way up, so why not, eh? But um, I have some pretty vivid memories of walking around here. I just wanted to see if, um, if it was as I remembered it. Boom, that came up quite quick. <laughs> there was a car right up my rump. The last time I tried to get in here was um, when Covid was about. And uh, this whole place was closed down. But uh, oh, I bet you can't ride down here, can you? Which is a shame. The Granary. It's a lovely place here. I remember it being a really, really lovely place. So I think oh, there's a little train track up there, look. Closed on a Saturday. What's going on? I presume you're going through the Granary. Anyway, that was just a, a little bimble up because it's on the way up. I wanted to uh, find some places to bring the family in in the summer. So, in other news, uh, I'm so relieved that I've ripped all of the wiring for the Cardo and recording of the Cardo out of my helmet. It was doing my head in. I thought I'd got it bang on on the last ride and it was still absolute rubbish and as you know I'm all about audio quality and stuff um, I already get loads of bother from the wind noise which really does get on my nerves and I bet it gets on your nerves as well when you're watching um, I want to try and concentrate on solving that problem instead of solving what really isn't a problem um, I don't even know why I was looking to do it but uh, the recording of the conversations on the Cardo uh, I'm not I'm not gonna bother I'm really not gonna bother I tried everything to get it good and it, it, it when you can get it good it's just really uncomfortable so um, it's also quite dangerous having all that wiring in the helmet so I'm not gonna do it so I pulled it all out give my helmet a really good clean inside 
and uh, I'm just back to the two cameras and the mic which is the way to go 100% what I do want to do though is get a clamp so I clamp that camera facing backwards because I used to love that view on my GSX-R it's just really difficult to do it on this bike but uh, yeah so I'm, go I'm just going to concentrate on the wind noise so I've been looking at the Puig Touring screens for this which would push a lot more wind over the top of my head um, man the only thing holding me back is the look of them I, I don't think they make the they don't do the bike any justice at all um, it does the job so I'm sure it'll do the job of reducing wind noise uh, with the wind jammer as well should eliminate it quite a bit but I like the look of bikes and I, I currently really like the look of this bike and shoving that sail on the front of this is not my idea of uh, an upgrade <laughs> but 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 we're doing a lot more touring these days and if I'm going to be going up Scotland the last thing I want is this wind banging about my head um, for you know six or eight hours on the road every day so I might bite the bullet and put one on it we will see but let's get up to uh, let's get up to Whitchurch. Let's go and see if my my old buddies are going to be there. They're at work today, and hopefully they'll get off soon and meet me up there, um, which will be awesome. Keep forgetting to sync these cameras up. It's going to be a bloody nightmare in editing. <laughs> I think I can do it now. When I was watching. <laughs> Whoa! Look at the clouds flat on the bottom. It's a hell of a lot warmer today than it has been. The wind's definitely shifted direction. It's coming from warmer climes. But look at this, ah this is beautiful, can't go out tomorrow, it's going to be torrential rain, would you believe? <laughs> oh, what a ride this is, man the wind's blowing me off the bike but these roads and with the sun out, it's all super super cool, oh man this is awesome, ah, I do miss coming up here on a Thursday night. I always forget how far it is up here, you know. <laughs> I jump on the A41 and I'm enjoying myself so much. And then you think, oh, I'm still going, and I'm still going. There's another roundabout, and I'm still going, and I'm still going. <laughs> I love them corners when the council were building them roads they knew exactly what they were doing there <laughs> they had bikers in mind there dual carriageway beautiful tight bends but they go on for a little while absolutely utterly fantastic round of applause to you guys <laughs> awesome that is such a special stretch of road that is 
Ah, I do miss roads like that. So lately we've been on like, uh, you know, tiny B roads and green lanes and twist, you know, really tight twisties where you can't, can't get up much speed and to get on a road like that with bends like that, man, <laughs> raises the spirits that does. And this bike, this bike loves doing that. It absolutely loves it. I mean, I was getting blown off this then. Wind was cutting underneath me and it was still hanging on in there. <laughs> absolutely superb. Ah, what a joy, man, what a joy. What a joy. Cannot wait for the calmer weather. The old army base is up here. Old training grounds. I just want to say as well, um, I mean Ukraine is getting worse every day isn't it? But it's fantastic to see that the UK is stepping up, you know, we've speeded up the visa access. Let's get those poor folks over here, yeah. We'll bloody look after them. Get them over here until it settles down. And uh, also want to say well done to the armed forces that are out there at the moment um, from a supporting role. Um, I'm sure they're doing an, a, an exquisite job and keep it up guys. We're all thinking about, yeah, we're all thinking about the Russians and the Ukrainians, poor people. Um, but, you know, well done for getting out there and for stepping up. It's not all about fighting, is it? It's about helping out, helping our neighbours out, one world, yeah? So well done from Dave. Well done. Wish I was there with you. I'm too bloody old, apparently. <laughs> Anyway, we're finally here. Look, here we go. Here we are. Here we are. Bet there's no one here today. That's a few. Let's go see if we can find some old friends who we haven't seen since the autumn last year. So weather's been diabolical. Hello. Not want to stop. <laughs> Here's a few here, look. Most people still got them locked up for the winter, aren't they? Stick it there. There's nobody up there, is there? Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Rainbow. I haven't seen one today because there's been no rain, which is awesome. That's nice. Triumph RS Speed Triple 1050 with a Scorpion exhaust on it. Sweet. Right. Go find a cup of tea. Wave the camera. Hello, <laughs> I'll make you famous. <laughs> Oh, has he? <laughs> cool, man. Right, I'm gonna get off. I'll see you soon, yeah? All right, buddy. Yeah, definitely will. All right, mate. Nice to see you again. See you later. See you later, buddy. There you go. See you in a bit, Dave. Ta da, mate. Well, what a fantastic stop. Really good to catch up with you guys again. Good to see you guys. <laughs> no doubt we see more of you. It is extremely windy. Proper, proper bad wind. So I'm going to take it easy on my way back. Jesus, it's so bad. Hole underneath of the bike just pulling me over
<laughs> well, what a cracking day. Man, I really enjoyed this. This was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I wonder if the cafe is still open at the park. What is it now? It's 20 to 5. I doubt it. Have a look, eh? Well, the suns are going down. We've made it to Himley. Cracking ride. Absolute cracking ride. And I'll keep saying it. <laughs> I think it's just good to get out, isn't it? But that ride in particular up to uh, Whitchurch is just superb. 10 out of 10, apart from the wind. Uh, it's three minutes to five. I bet the cafe shuts at five or even before that. But I'm going to have a look anyway. Because I'm right here and I could really do with a nice, hot, steaming cup of chocolate. Chocolate. Come on, stay open. Is he open? Is he open? Is he open? Yes! <laughs> hot chocolate coming up. Oh yeah. Well, that was an epic day, really windy. Thank you very, very much for riding along with me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video, eh? Hope you guys have had a great day too. See you soon. Bye-bye.